Katar, mm. welcome to Inspirational Chat. Thank you so uh-huh. much, boss. How are you doing? Please, by the grace, I am really doing well. I'm very strong. Great. So, um, how are you doing? I'm fine, by God's grace. I'm fine. Okay. Before we start, um, let me ask you um, being a competent financial secretary of Gen Africa is definitely one of um, the most achievable goals in your career. Um, can you tell us the character you uh, portrayed in making um, this a success? Okay. Thank you very much, mm. uh, Brother Emmanuel. I am a financial secretary for Gen Africa, that's Global Equivalent Network Africa. Mm. And yes, it's the success, though. It's a challenge also as youth working with this organization. Okay. And I think there are a lot of things that really needs to go in into before this kind of opportunity to work with them. Mm. And it's it's a very big achievement for me. I think I, I got the opportunity to work with them since 2017 oh. to date. And, and it's good with me. Yes. But um, when we talk about Gen Africa, what do they do and what does Gen mean? Okay. So uh, the Gen Africa is the African network of the Global Eco Village Network. Okay. So we have it to be a global eco village network. It's a network that started in Scotland. Mm. And then uh, they are into sustainable development and then also envisaging that our practices and our living conforms with uh, what nature is really uh, 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 pushing us to live how our uh, forefathers used to live in an eco village, how everybody was very open to each other in terms of farming, how they use organic system in farming. In our time, we call it permaculture. So it's, it's, um, it's a lot of principles that comes together for us to get the Eco Village Network. And then it's a network that ensures that the sustainability in every part of the world. How many experience have you had working with them? Okay, so I started uh, getting involved in the Global Eco Village Network since 20. 16, okay. I had my EDE, that is Ecovilly Design Education Certificate in Kumase, that was 2015, yes, 2016. And from that EDE, I got the opportunity to work with the Ghana Network, that is uh, Gen Ghana, and then from there, I got the opportunity to work with the youth as well the next gen, we call them next gen. And then from there, we build up to Gen Africa and then also to Gen International. So um, having a five years working experience, um, can you let us know the challenges and how the gen has been so far? Okay. It is, I would say it's tough, but all is about determination. If you are determined to do it, you should be able to do it. And if someone is able to do it, why can't you do it? You all have the same time, 24 hours a day. So 24 hours, do all the things you want to do, you're able to advertise and then know your goals and know where you want to go. That's if you know where you want to go and know what you are up to, 
definitely with determination and persistence, you'll be able to achieve it. So that is what has led me, though initially I was not having much experience to be working with uh, this organization, but gradually as we start to read more, ask more, uh, yes. Okay. Um, do you have any projects you want to involve the youth in, in terms of, of um, primaculture? But first of all, um, tell us what primaculture means. Okay. So, uh, permaculture, I got into this system. I did a diploma. With a in a sustainable environment. And then in another way, in terms of the ecological system or the farming system, we look at it as farming organically. Mm. When you're farming, you don't use uh, these chemicals because we said it kills a lot of uh, biological life in the soil and then also uh, depletes our soil as well. And, and we always try to go into the natural system. So that is about the permaculture. And in terms of, if I have a project that I will want to share with the youth, yes, I am currently working on a project. I'm the CEO of Eco Clean Ghana. And what we are doing is we want to let every youth, everybody, the public knows that waste is a resource. Waste is cash. It's only that we are not preview to how waste can be seen as a resource or as, as a cash. So when you look at my background, in EcoClean Ghana, we are able to turn our plastic and mostly the sachet drinking plastics into school bags, laptop bags, and market bags, and so forth. So that is the kind of project that if I want to involve more youth, I will wish that uh, every youth gets into this kind of concept because uh, it's a very big challenge that the world is facing, not only Ghana, though uh, Ghana is also facing this challenge, but the world is a very big challenge that the world is facing, which if all of us should come together to fight against this waste and then also uh, create more awareness about waste management and then also turn our waste into uh, some useful aspects and then let people patronize waste, I think it will bring a lot of uh, job opportunities and then also uh, income to youth as well. Is it just a matter of getting a connect with the right people? I think when the opportunity was out for people who are interested in this kind of position to apply, I was saying, no, you know, all these requirements, they were having a lot of requirements that people need to apply. And I, at that time, I was doing my permaculture, though I had a background in accounting and was already working with Gen Africa. So I had some small experience. But looking at the, uh, 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 the kind of uh, capacity they needed. I looked at it, I was not having anybody in, in Scotland or wherever who linked me to this, but I applied and I was interviewed. How did you get from your family or friends? I, I think none of my uh, family member or siblings is into this eco-village uh, network. Okay. So it's like I'm the only one that is there and then also uh, bringing everybody in. So no one knows anybody in Eco Village Network. 
So it's all about the people you meet. I go to conferences. I go to Eco Village programs in Ghana. So when the opportunity came, I just have to apply. And they asked, and I was able to respond. What uh, uh, they, they, they saw that I won't be able to support them. That was in 2019. And then, uh, fortunately, I got the opportunity to work with them though it's a very big achievement for me because that really pushed me very very well i would say that is one of my biggest hits in life and then i'm still working with them though i have not gotten anywhere but uh, working with them the experience that i am getting though some of the things are very difficult that you need to ask mm. and and yes as we ask with determination and with focus and persistence, gradually we are carrying the tax that we, we have to. How do you blend working and having time for the family? I, I think it's, it's about the priority and it's also about where you want to go mm. and how you you translate or how you perceive your goal because i want to go to i mean where currently if i want to go to accra i have a lot of people you must know how you will communicate with them and then get to accra where you want to go if you need support you must be able to communicate very well Therefore, your ability, it is good. You blend the working as well as the family and friends into your, your working schedule. Though it is not easy, but you should be able to do that. And sometimes you will need to focus more on the work because you have a lot of tasks to accomplish. You have a lot of, every day is a deadline mm. for you. So every day you must accomplish something there's a deadline that you must meet every single day every single hour every single minute so that really keeps you very busy but upon all the busy schedules you should be able to have some time for your family but yes okay now um what unique thing about accountancy will you like to share with my audience Okay. So I think accountancy mm -hmm. is, I would say I'm very grateful for doing this course or getting the opportunity to have more some experience in accounting because it's, it's flexible. Though when you know it, it's flexible, but if you don't know it, one digit can make you toil the whole night. And uh, you will be looking for this, this figure. Mm. You'll be looking for just a single figure just to make your accounts balance. But as you continue to do it, you gain more experience. You gain more experience. And then as soon as you gain the experience, any other tax that comes, things are very easy to do and you are able to blend this profession with other activities as well the moment you have the experience because one plus one is two it doesn't it's not only one plus one but more or less more it's, it's yeah. about calculation yes it's more than that interpretation so uh, when you get the needed experience, but before you get the experience, you must make a lot of mistakes. You must struggle. You must try to learn. You need to, to really ask a lot of questions. And the moment you pass through this kind of experiences, these questions, these answers, and then whatsoever, you get a lot of experience. And the moment you get it, it is easier to blend two, three, four, five works at the same time to be working. Okay. 
Now, let's talk about the 5K challenge. Yes, please. Um, I know the initiative is to support young um, students who, are, who, who have established a business, right? And um, you were part of the winners. How did you, how, how did you make it? I, I think I thank God and I thank the team that uh, I'm working with, the team of Eco Clean Ghana, because they have been supportive. And most of the times they say that your environment determines who you are. Uh, Eco Clean or Charles wouldn't have won this award without the help of the team, the people that we're working with. They really supported very well. I remember our first pitch, no, when the application came out, it was, I think, what, two hours, mm -hmm. no, or one, two hours for the deadline to reach was when I saw the application and then I just, okay, let me give it a try. So I communicated to our team and then, uh, I gave it a try and fortunately we were part of the 100 uh, candidates selected out of 400 plus people who applied and we did yes wow and we did our first pitch that was 60 seconds pitch and I was the third person to pitch and initially, I thought it was more on businesses that are into um, greening and notwithstanding things that toss, uh, businesses that support the environment, businesses that support uh, youth and, and the nature. So that was the presentation I did. I did not really focus much on the business aspects. Mm. And likely I was selected. Uh, there were three juries. This one said, no, no Charles for me, no Charles. And likely Miss Emma uh, said, okay, fine, I will coach and give another chance to Charles to present. So I'll coach Charles. So I just said, oh, okay, thank you so much. So uh, we were there and we passed through a series of uh, trainings and another presentation, numerous presentations we did. And finally, we were to vote as well. And my team really did very, very well. They shared a link and they supported, they got out, got people oh. to vote, and likely we were part of the winners. Did you, so did you, ITV, did you receive the price thing. of the 5,000? Yes, please. As of now, we have received, we have gotten half of it, but still waiting for, still waiting the, for the other. Money. Yes, please. Okay. Um, tell us about um, Eco Clean Foundation. Okay, so Eco Clean Ghana is a waste management organization that we envisage cleaning the environment by turning waste, by not only just cleaning, but rather turning our waste into resources. And then in this case, we have a system we call linear approach. The linear approach is we take, we produce, we use, and then we dispose. Mm. But we want to bridge this gap by not only disposing what we have finished using, but rather turning the output, the waste that has been disposed into a new resource, into something that will benefit us again. So with Eco Clean Ghana, we have started with, though we are still young, but we have started with one 
kind of particular waste that is plastic. So with a plastic, we turn these plastics in the school bags, the laptop bags, and then also market bags. So, so currently we are working on this. Okay. Um, are there projects you are planning for the foundation this year? Yes, please. Okay. We are targeting to produce about 5,000 bucks, school bucks for school children. And we are hoping for this year that EcoClean will not only be in uh, Upper West and Bono East, but rather will move into the next, uh, another region. So we should be able to get EcoClean in another region, which people will start to see our plastic as a resource and people will start to patronize. We want to build people, we want to create some kind of a fashion that it will become a norm for everybody to use plastic recycled products. So Eco Clinic is like, using plastic um, for a bag, right? So Eco Clean, it's about turning with with the resource. resource, not okay. only the bags. Okay. Yes, not only the bag. EcoClean is also doing mushrooms. And the concepts under this is we use sawdust, rice chaff that are seen as waste, that are burned to pollute our environment. And when left and it rains, it breeds mosquitoes which causes a lot of other uh, health problems. Mm. So we turn this rice chaff and wheat, uh, uh, rice chaff and the sawdust into edible mushrooms. So that is another kind of, so it's not more, it's not only uh, plastics into bags, but rather waste. And we are aiming that all the categories of which we should be able to see waste as a resource, any waste. We only see it as a waste because we don't know how to turn that waste into something good. Therefore, we are looking at doing more research on turning all our waste. We don't want to collect the waste and then burn them or just dispose them, no. When we collect, then we turn them into something else. Okay, but in case someone wants to purchase some of your products, where can the person locate you? We are currently located in the Upper West Region, Wa, Marvel, Opsits, Blue Hill. Mm. Any number? To yes, call? so here's where we are located. And then when you can also search as Eco Clean Ghana and on facebook and also we have a website the moment you type eco clean ghana you will be able to get to our, our site and then also facebook uh, site will also come and if someone also wants to reach us the person can contact our uh, line 0544736272 so when you contact us in any of this, we should be able to respond to you. Have you regretted choosing this career? I think, no, I have not regretted because it is one of the biggest challenge that the world is facing and uh, going to solve some kind of challenge, you should be prepared you should be first prepared in your mind that there are a lot of challenges you meet so you should be able to endure them so so far not regretted in getting into eco clean uh, what concepts. advice what advice will you give to the young people or the youth out there who have business ideas and want to execute them i think it is time. They don't have to wait. They should start. 
if you want to wait to get everything right, to get all the necessary experience before you start, it will take you, it, it, it will really take a very long time. You only get experience when you start something. Therefore, you must start. And it's not everybody who will believe in your vision. You should be convinced your vision and have passion. Focus and be consistent with what you want to do. And definitely, uh, you should be able to do it. If someone has been able to do it, then you should be able to do it. Okay, so the youth out there must have passion, focus, yeah. and they should continue what they are doing. Okay, thank you very much, Charles Katare, for coming on Inspirational Chat. Thank you so much, Mr. Emmanuel.